Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the charming world of Minami Lane on the Nintendo Switch. This indie title blends casual management with strategic depth, all wrapped up in a cute irresistible little package. Well now, let's dive in and see if it's worth your time. Now Minami Lane is more than just a game. It's actually a delightful escape into a world where the mundane meets the magical. Developed by Scarecrow Arts, this game invites players to design, manage and nurture a bustling street not only filled with townsfolk, but eventually yokai spirits, cats and even a talking tanuki. It's a whimsical blend of management and creativity, perfect for players looking for a light-hearted yet engaging experience. The game sets the stage in a charming mystical town where you're tasked with turning an ordinary street into a thriving hub of activity. While the story is minimal, the atmosphere is rich with details that make the world feel alive. The talking tanuki serves as your guide, adding a whimsical touch to your management duties. The overall setting is a cozy mix of Japanese folklore and everyday life, making it really easy to get lost in its charm. Minami Lane offers straightforward mechanics that are easy to pick up but rewarding to master. The game also provides various modes including Mission Mode where you'll complete specific objectives and Sandbox Mode which lets you build freely. Mission Mode introduces varied tasks from catering to different demographics to completing quirky challenges like petting 20 cats. And yes that meant to my great delight that you can pet the cats. Sandbox mode, on the other hand, splits into planner and creative modes, allowing for strategic planning or unfettered creativity. The daily reports at the end of each in-game day provide valuable insights, making every decision feel impactful. Now, mission mode will take you between 3 to 4 hours and really serves as a tutorial, gradually introducing the game's mechanics and providing objectives to help you master them. After that, in planning mode, you must carefully manage resources and plan your street's layout, while on the other hand, creative mode lets you unleash your imagination with ample resources. This flexibility ensures that the game appeals to both strategic thinkers and those who prefer a more relaxed creative approach. The dynamic world where your decisions like trying to find the perfect ramen recipe directly affect the satisfaction of your virtual community, which in turn adds a layer of depth that keeps the gameplay engaging. While a part of me would have liked there to be even more content to explore, there's a special charm that comes from the simplicity and restraint. And overall, the value offered here goes well beyond the amazingly low $5 price of the game. The game's art style is a visual treat featuring soft tone chibi anime aesthetics that are both adorable and detailed. The simplicity of the visuals also allows players to focus on the fun without getting bogged down by complexities. The soundtrack, with its soothing and fitting music, enhances the cozy atmosphere, making Minami Lane a delightful place to spend time. As you can imagine, performance-wise, the game ran extremely smoothly, whether in docked or in handheld mode. Minami Lane is a testament to the charm and depth that indie games can deliver, especially considering once again the extremely budget price of only $5. With its blend of casual management, strategic planning and whimsical world building, it's a game that invites you to create, manage and grow your own little slice of paradise. And that's why I'll be rating this game an amazing 9 out of 10. Whether you're strategizing in planner mode or decorating freely in creative mode, Minami Lane will definitely capture your heart. Now just before we go, I do want to thank you all for watching and if you did enjoy this review, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming content. Also while you're down there, let me know in the comments if you'll be playing Minami Lane. And just as usual, I hope I'll see you all in my next video.